But I want to show our viewers where things stood in the last assembly election. So if you see 2013 versus 2018, that's where the Congress uh, actually won the election. It was a very tight fight, but the Congress, uh, out of the total 230 seats, the Congress had 114 at the end. So 16 is what they needed. They ended up with 114. And in the 2013 elections, they had only 58. So the Congress was up 58, 56 seats the last time. The BJP was down 56. From 165, the BJP tally came down uh, to 109, a loss of 56 seats. If we look at the Lok Sabha picture, though, remember the Lok Sabha picture has been quite different, where on the back of Prime Minister Modi's esteem, uh, the BJP has been romping home in style. In 2019, the Bharati Janata Party won 28 out of the 29 seats in the state of Madhya Pradesh. There was only Chindwala, uh, which the Congress is uh, Congress won. Kamal Nath Sar Nakul won over there. In 2014, the BJP won 27. The Congress won two. Even prior to that, uh, when the BJP lost in 2004 in Madhya Pradesh, the BJP had 25 seats. The Congress only four. In 2009, when the Congress won big, uh, the Congress had only 12. The BJP 16. So Lok Sabha elections have been quite different from Assembly elections. And Rahul Srivastav, we are seeing some elements of Narmada Arti, uh, the mace of Lord Hanuman. Uh, will, according to you, the battle for Madhya Pradesh, the most important battle in the forthcoming round of assembly elections, will it be fought over the issue of Hindutva or do you think it's largely around the track record of the, Shiv, of the Shivrat Singh government with Hindutva playing a role only on the margins? Rahul, uh, Shivraj Singh Chauhan and the BJP, 20 years almost, uh, 70 years and 17 years as chief minister, there is tremendous amount of corruption charges. There is anti-incumbency. There are factions uh, within Madhya Pradesh, BJP. But I think the story is different from all this because all this does happen if you are ruling a state for a long time. Uh, it also happens that if you talk about the stridents in the BJP Sindhutva, I think the real story is described in the smallest manner. If you look at the Twitter profile of Mr. Kamal Nath, uh, the Congress leader, uh, he is draped in Pitambar. Now, Pitambar is Lord Krishna himself. I think that's the only Congress leader who wears, who is, whose Twitter profile will be saying that. I think the Congress has gone unequivocally and unabashedly Hindu uh, in an attempt to show that it is pro-Hindu, uh, not pro-Muslim, but and also no, uh, not anti-Hindu. If you see the Congress party, uh, what, how it has been organizing itself, I think there is a reason why the Congress is doing it, because it worked for the Congress party last time also. In 2018, if you see, the Congress party uh, uh, started its campaign with Digvijay Singh carrying out that Narmada Yatra in 2017. Uh, Computer Baba, Mirchi Baba uh, had, had, were given charge. They became ministers. The manifesto had Gaushala, anti-cow slaughter uh, bills and other elements. This time around, the Congress has inducted a Bajaram Sena into its fold. There are two Prakoshs in the Congress which one has never heard of. One is Dharmic Evam Utsa Prakosh, then there is Mandir Pujari Prakosh. Uh, they have inducted a Kathavachak Risha Goswami, and the Congress, uh, she has held some 30 programs already. Recently, there was one Gita part in uh, Bhopal. The Congress is trying to BJP at this Hindutva game.